So I've printed a calibration cube and the STL is down in the description and after you do that you measure each dimension and I came out with an X of 20.11 millimeters, a Y of 20.14 and a Z of 18.9 so I could tolerate the X and the Y but the Z is off by over a millimeter so what we need to do to take care of that is use a simple formula. These are supposed to be 20, 20 millimeters on each edge, the width. So if you take 20 divided by the value, in this case 18.91 for the Z, and then multiply that by the current steps per millimeter, you will get the new steps per millimeter that you need to enter. So to make that change, you go scroll down to control, motion, steps per millimeter, Z, and then we're going to increase this to 422.53. Okay, 422.53. And the other val values are really close, but we'll go ahead and take a look. So, so this should be 79.32. And for the Y. Let's try that again. So 20 divided by 20.14 times 79.76 should become 79.20 or 21, kind of toss up there. So motion, steps per millimeter. Let's just go with 2, 1. Okay, so now that those have been changed, I'll go ahead and print a new calibration cube and we'll see how close we are. Second calibration cube is quite a bit better. It's 20 for X, 19.99 for Y, and Z is 20.15. So we're going to make change for Z, do one more print, and it should be calibrated. Okay, the third cube printed at 20.03 millimeters for Z height. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that for the rest of this. So the first thing I think I'm going to print is a spool holder. So let's find one and print that out. Okay, so it's finished printing. Let's go ahead and pull this off. And take a look. So the printer needs to be fine-tuned to take care of the ringing, but otherwise it looks overall like it's doing a pretty good job straight out of the box. 
So I'll go ahead and install this, and then we'll print something for real. So this is a vase my son designed about a year ago, a uh, little less, something like that. Anyway, so it's finished, it's about 380 millimeters high, Let's see if I can take it off without breaking it. There we go, we'll just pull the tape. I need to do some work to figure out what's going on tuning wise for the first, I don't know, three layers or so. And then there's some repeating issues here, but I think I know what that is. But overall, I mean, that looks really good for, again, no fine tuning, basically out of the box for the printer. So my first impressions with printing with this um, are positive, really. The biggie for me with this printer is that it takes so little time to do the heat up process. Um, 200 degrees for the hot end and 60 degrees for the bed it takes about a minute to a minute and a half. So very happy. So this vase took about 11, 11 and a half hours to print. Um, used about 130 grams of filament. And the filament I used for this is a white PLA Plus from eSun. Um, really happy with it.